so we've already uh, done the preparations of uh, your uh, aldehydes we have been doing oxidation reactions and then uh, we have done at grignard stage and we have done from alkenes alkynes right so uh, so after that completing all those let us uh, end the preparations of your uh, Uh, aliphatic uh, uh, aldehydes that is your rcho by uh, using this reaction with a stefans reaction yes what is basically stefans reaction now stefans reaction is if you don't remember the reaction as i said it is basically conversion of your nitriles or your alkyl cyanides right into your <coughs> corresponding aldehydes what do i mean i mean stefan reaction is basically the conversion of all cn right alkyl nitrile in the presence of reducing agents like sncl2 and hcl right this is first this is your second this is getting converted into your corresponding aldehydes rch so this is your stefan reaction what basically happens in this let us see so first when i pick up an alkyl nitrile rcn c triple bond n correct now <coughs> Here you are going to introduce a reducing agent SnCl2 in the presence of HCl. So as I said, it is a reducing agent. You are going to add two. When you are adding this hydrogen to this, observe carefully. One hydrogen goes in adds here. Another hydrogen comes in adds here. How does this look now? R C now double bond N C H N H. Correct. Now this is called imine. imine now to this imine if you are further hydrolyzing it correct now basically in the presence of h3o plus <laughs> now if i actually go into the mechanism of the reaction if i see it is a very complicated mechanism where finally you know essential to comes in attacks hcl attacks and then nitrogen comes out as nh4cl you know the series of steps involved in this but basically for your cbsc we are just explaining the basic uh, requirement of the reaction so this after the formation of imine once this introduces in the presence of h3o plus the bond breaks here right your oxygen comes and adds to this or it becomes the corresponding aldehyde and ammonia nh imine as i said the series of steps if i if you go into the reaction with the series of steps i get nh4cl also in the reaction so this is your stefans reaction a stefans reduction because you are adding hydrogen to this conversion of nitrile to your aldehyde corresponding aldehyde done this is your stefans after that let us learn one more important or the last preparation of aldehydes very important reaction that is called dibal reaction or reaction with dibal let us erase this and see with this your preparations of aldehydes and ketones are done so i am going to just write preparation of aldehyde using a reagent called dibal dibal is a best reducing or a strong reducing agent right so dibal when should i use dibal or the particular thing remember in chemistry we have many reducing agents lithium aluminum hydride sodium borohydride platinum palladium isn't it your dibal also is a reducing agent but only difference is when i compare dibal and when i take lithium aluminum hydride let us see where should i use dibal in this basically dibal is used when you have to convert the nitrile group yeah here also you can use nitrile group yeah this also converts let me see if you have to convert esters cor right esters here suppose if i take esters let us see what's going to happen your dibal is going to convert nitrile or cyano group and esters into aldehydes remember this whenever in the exam the examiner is giving you dibal you have to write the final product as aldehyde suppose if you have lithium aluminum hydride lithium aluminum hydride is going to convert cyano group into primary amines in h2 this is called primary amine and your esters are going converted into primary alcohols 
they will get converted into primary alcohols so this is the most important difference dibal will convert nitrile and your uh, esters into your aldehydes and this will convert into primary amines and alcohols using this information or the hint let us start with the reaction with dibal now i said dibal is a reducing agent isn't it so what is the formula for dibal how does this dibal look or full form dibal is di d stands for di i stands for iso b stands for butyl a stands for aluminium and aluminium hydride okay the basic structure is this now how does this look you have your aluminium in the center you have your hydrogen and what do you have you have both the sides yes yeah now this is like this now you have a methyl group here you have your methyl group here you have your again methyl group here and you have your methyl group this is your dibal structure now this dibal structure is going to act as a reducing agent so what does it do suppose if i have i'm going to take here nitrile like this simple nothing to do right you're going to add dibal d i b a l yes this is going to convert or basic thing whichever is a nitrile this is going to get reduced to the corresponding aldehyde right r c h o simple nothing to do suppose if you have an example like this one two like this in this way right now here you have your cyano group in the center nothing to do just take a observe this carefully the same structure one two three four isn't it and now one two three four this is the fifth carbon now this is your dibal present now this dibal i said nitro is nitrile is getting converted to aldehyde pick this up and write one two three four five one two three four five and the last one is getting converted to aldehyde this group is getting converted to aldehyde let us see we have named this this one this is also there this is also there so four ticks here one two three four ticks here and then cyano group is getting converted to aldehyde group and so you have your double bond here kept here in this so write that double bond also great important now i said it's going to also just uh, reduce esters let us write with an ester now what is an ester your ester group is coo correct now you have an ester group on either sides two 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 and three right <clears throat> now this ester when it is treated with your dibal correct now this is your dibal observe carefully nothing to do you're going to convert that ester into your aldehyde group but how do you uh, how do you show that ester into aldehyde group now c now single bond correct now pick that uh, as your c2h5 okay this whole thing i picked it as c2h5 make this as ch3 now your last carbon is getting converted and your h is here now this is your conversion of ester into aldehyde so uses of dibal just convert cyano and ester into your corresponding aldehydes only as i said uh, the particular uh, compound your cyano is getting converted to aldehyde let us see the reaction with ester but remember all the dibal reactions you should also have water because you are converting it to the respective aldehydes right let us speak about an ester suppose you have an ester like this right co an ester group right uh, let it be any number of uh, carbon atoms now you have like this now you have your ch2 this is your basic ester now to this ester suppose i am going to add a dibal reagent which is a reducing agent yeah and i'm simultaneously going to hydrolyze it yes now observe carefully wherever you have your ester group get just uh, take that ester now copy the whole reaction one two three right one two three now huh? this ester is going to get converted to its corresponding aldehyde and the leftover your c2h5 i think yeah which this is your hydrolysis isn't it now i said as i said this ester getting converted to aldehyde the leftover comes out as c2h5 oh yes remember so this is your corresponding aldehyde this is how you are going to do whenever you see dibal